Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of the Foster Challenge on my channel. It's PhD Simmer here and it's Sunday in the game and we're going to have a sort of lazy Sunday at home I think and just work on skills and work on relationships and things like that. So Cassie is painting. Finn um, spent all night planting up his garden. I've got all of the plants from San Moschino food store so we have pretty much everything in our garden. We have two strawberry plants, uh, mushroom, three mushrooms spinach, uh, onion, grapes, potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, blackberries, uh, pear, plantain, cherry, cherry again, lemon, apple, obviously we've had that from the start, pomegranate and another pomegranate. So yeah, we've got pretty much a whole garden full of plants and the blackberry is going to make us quite a bit of money so that's why I bought like 10 of those. So Finn is just in the shower and he's going to eat and Carly is going to have a little chess game with um, Joe because he wants to play three chess games as part of his um, it's inspiration? Aspiration is what I mean and he, <laughs> Carly was bored so I thought she could do that and Joe Kale, sorry, was, um, oh, he's broken the computer. He was chatting online. He's such a little social butterfly, um, which is great because we replace 400 pounds. What? Oh, okay. Uh, he wants to make a best friend forever. I think we're going to make that Joe because those two get on really, really well. He's done his homework as well, so that's good. Um, I'm going to get him to, um, oh, it's a shame Lena hasn't aged up yet. I'm going to get him to chat to Holly. He's going to send her a happy text. And Finn, you're going to have to repair the computer for me. Because we are not paying to replace that. No way. I agree, Kel. It's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. No, we're not actually going to go out because I want to spend the day at home with the family, really. Um, it's a pity he doesn't know any other kids to invite around. I want it, He was chatting online quite happily, um, but obviously he's broken the computer. What else will he have to do for his... Become friends with three other kids, become friends with two adults and achieve level 10 of the social skill. I guess he can come and chat to them while they're playing te ch uh, tess. <laughs> chess is that possible watch chess match just go and watch he's like oh i'll play the winner because i'm gonna beat you <laughs> i want to get to a stage where we can afford to pay a gardener because that would be awesome just look after our plants and we can just harvest them and get all the cash. Oh, he could work on his creativity skill, actually. That's quite a good idea. Oh, these two playing chess are cute, actually. Really cute. He's like, oh, no, you beat me again. Cal's like, I can see a good move. I can see a good move. Oh, they're super cute. So she had her first babysitting job last night. I don't actually know how she got on because I was so busy working on the garden. Um, let's have a look. She has to go to work tonight as well. And it's gone up to good, so she obviously did an okay job. So that's brilliant. Let's play another game. Cassie's done with her painting. How much is that worth? Ooh, 442. That's not bad at all. 
we'll definitely sell that. She's feeling a little tired. I might go let her have a bit of a nap because it's quite early in the day to feel that tired. Finn is hungry, but he's repairing the computer for us. So that's good. And Kale can get back to chatting. <laughs> he was just chatting away online. That was so funny. Yeah, the kids are acing through their skills. So I'm really pleased. He's like, oh god, what has, what has he done to this? Did he spill juice on the keyboard or something? He's got the blue screen of death, guys. It's not good. Hopefully he can fix it. Come on. There we go. He did it. Awesome. And he got some upgrade parts. We're going to sell those. Oh, oh yeah. And I managed to breed the Sun Surfer frog. So I have kept two sun surfers so now we are guaranteed to always get that so that's brilliant that's 125 simoleons whenever we please and then he's going to play another chess she's going to play another chess game with him there you go kale you can go back to chatting with whoever you were chatting with um chat with i want him to chat in a kid's room chat in a kid's chat room rather than random adults online <laughs> Which is not, you know. Very safe, is it now? Well, Cass is feeling a lot better. So that's good. Oh, um, Joe wants to read. So I think that would be quite cute if we could do that. We're going to read. How do we read to a kid? Hmm. How do we read to a kid? I can't remember. Oh, I think he might have won the chess game, actually. Chess victor. Nothing comes easy in life, including a victory at the chess table. Take pride in your feet. Awesome. How do we get her to read to him? They have a bookshelf in their room as well. They used to. Okay, they don't anymore. Um, let's open it up. And we'll put one of the kids' books in our inventory. And then read to child. Yeah, we're going to read to Joe. Um, Cal's going to go on the computer, so we won't read to him. And Carly, what am I going to get you to do, my love? She wants to become an adult. We're not really going to be able to do her aspiration very easily. Because she's... Yeah, she's so family orientated. She's not really going to be able to do her aspiration, which sucks. So we're just going to work on skills with her. I think I want her to be quite... Um, what can she do to help the family make money? She could get into painting as well, but I kind of don't want everyone to do the same things. Um, well, I guess it won't hurt to do something. We're going to do a large painting. Where's Joe going? Yeah, he's going to go be read to cows on the computer. We need to buy another computer, really, because maybe um, Carly could get into video, video gaming or something. I don't know. Actually, we're just going to throw that. He's enjoying the story anyway. <laughs> we're not reading this to you. Where are you going with that plate? Just put it down. Just put it down. Thank you. Right. What does Finn need to do for his job? He needs to collect £50 in donations. Ooh. That's quite tough. Um, Let's see who's around on the streets. We're just going to bug at some random people on the street. You look like... Oh, Alexander Goff. He's a teen. Okay, maybe we'll get Carly to go and talk to him. Um, since she wants to get to know some teenagers. What does teen Alexander Goff look like? Let's just check him. Ooh. Not very attractive at all. We're going to give him a funny intro. I feel like I want her to get to know some teens anyway, so. Oh, he's listening to the story. That's super cute. 
And he wants to hear two stories, I think. So she's read Lord of the Swings to him and she's going to read... Oh no, that is Lord of the Swings. Don't know what she's reading at the moment. So Carly is getting to know Alexander. We're going to show off our outfit. Oh, he's into taking selfies. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. Maybe we don't like him very much. <laughs> we don't like him in a romantic way anyway, because... Nope, I just don't think he is attractive. We're going to get to know him anyway, because he could be a friend. It's nice to know some of the other teenagers around town. It's monkey around. I bet he doesn't like that. Have a little gossip. I'm sure the goths would know what's going on. Okay, we're going to try and collect a donation from this guy. He's miserable, but... Um, political career. We're going to promote our cause to him. You know you want to give us some money, don't you? Even though you're sad. We're going to take some money off your hands. Oh, he feels good about our cause. We're going to collect a donation. Quick, Finn, before you lose him. Finn! Quick! Get the money! We've just schmoozed him. We need to get the cash. Can we have the donation? We need, we're in need. Ellen, I'm starving. Want to go and grab lunch with me at a small Mexican restaurant? Not right now, but actually we might invite her around because I feel like we haven't really socialised with her very much. So, did Joe? How did Joe get on with that story? Read with that off for two hours. We were. Ugh. Okay. Well, he's had two games of chess, actually, so. Why don't you go play chess with Kale, actually? That would be quite good. Uh, play with Kale. And I'm going to get Cassie to invite around Ellen, actually. She's read to Chad for two, one out of two hours. Okay, so she's done an hour, but he's not heard an hour's worth. We're going to invite Ellen over. Invite to hang out at your car at the lot. But like, yeah, I can't go out for lunch, but you're very welcome to come over. And Carly acquired the mischief skill. Yes, we got 25 quid. Ellen will be right over. Nice. Um, Maybe we could get 25 pounds from Ellen. <laughs> oh, who's this? Uh, Is he a teen? It's Max. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, We're going to say goodbye to him now because we've got his cash. How's the garden looking? Looks fine, actually. Oh, it's a couple of dry plants. Don't know if he's... He should be able to reach these. Go do some watering. We're going to say hi to Max before he disappears. Oh, I love the trousers, Max. <laughs> We're like, ditch Alexander. But at least she knows some teens now, so that's good. Come on, Carly, before he disappears. I think she'll have all the boys after her. There we go. We're going to chat to Max. Oh, and this is a teenager. I made her... I did a... um. Oh, she should be a teenager, but maybe she's aged up. Um, I did a base game only cast video, which is on my channel, so do feel free to check that out. Oh, she likes Max. Actually, I do like his hair. It does suit him. I think I'll change his outfit up. There we go. We've got a group conversation going. Cool. Oh, he's saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, we're going to chat to this girl. I think she is a teen. Well, I definitely made her a teen, whether she's aged up. Oh, uh, yeah, she is. Abigail Morgan. Oh, that's cool. We can now make a friend out of her. Joe. Jade, hey, I heard you became friends with Carly. She's pretty cool. Thanks, Jade. I don't even think I knew you, but apparently I do. Um, Where's... Ah, oh, our friend has come to visit. Welcome to our home. It's not much. It's very humble. <laughs> um, Cassie, we're going to... We should probably serve up some lunch, but we're not hungry, so we're not going to bother. We're going to... Uh, I want to kind of like group up with her, I guess. We're going to add her to a group. Sit together. There we go. That's what I wanted. Like, come and have a seat. How have you been? How's it all going? How's the fam? 
We're going to talk about our dreams with her. <laughs> uh, chat about property values. Discuss interests. Finn's like, I'll come and join you and just have a little read. <laughs> talk about cooking. That's what mums would do, I think. Get to know. Discuss world peace. Oh, that's nice. Complain about local youths. Yeah, that's your daughter's. <laughs> um, Finn. He's reading a... Why is he reading Orbital Pudding? I have no idea. Oops, I nearly saw both of them then. Okay, Finn, I want you to work on charisma because I'm. Oh, actually, we know we need to get our donation, don't we? Um, I don't. I feel it's a bit rude to get a donation off the neighbours. Go and water these plants. And then we're gonna see if we can find someone else. Oh, Abigail's decided to just disappear on us. Oh, Carly's feeling flirty. Why is that then? Pleasant conversation. A great conversation always peps up the spirits. Romantic Sims have a tough time hiding their flirty, flirty side. I forgot she was flirty. Let's see who else is out. Who's this? Hey, Matilda. Hey, there's loads of teens around. We're going to give her a friendly intro. That's cool. Might make a little quick club of those just so we can um, catch them easier, I guess. What are these? And then we're going to see if we can find someone to get another 25 simoleons off of. Um, Abigail's going over there. I feel like it's a bit mean to ask for money from teenagers. Uh, who's coming down the street? Here's another teenager. Carly, you need to go and introduce yourself to her. Holly Spencer. Friendly intro. Hey, Joaquin's over here. We can definitely get some cash off him. Hey, and there's a kid in the park. Cool. Um, I'm going to get Max. I think he's played his three games of chess now. Yes, he has. Cool. So there's a kid here. Uh, Connor Spencer's here. Okay, so this is Ellen's son. Cool. We're going to get the boys to... Give him a friendly intro. You can have a little friend to hang out with at the park. That's really cute. What's Finn doing? Finn, you're supposed to be finding someone to get some cash from. Um, I think we're going to go for Joaquin, actually. Just because he's here. Get some money. We're going to give him a cheerful intro. Cassie, you should be chatting with your desk guest <laughs> not having a bath We've got a guest here i want her to become quite good friends with ellen actually we're going to tell her a dramatic story and her little gossip oh, my camera's going a bit crazy today i don't know what's going on discuss local fishing spots yeah how riveting <laughs> Boast about our family, that's cute. She's really proud of her family, which is really nice. Okay, Joaquin, you're going to give us some cash. Um, promote our cause. Have a deep conversation with him, you know, be like, this is a serious issue, guys. I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out with me. We didn't really hang out with you, we just said hi. <laughs> She's still feeling flirty. Where's Holly gone? limbs around where's holly i definitely saw her holly spencer where are you she disappeared on me she disappeared on me okay well why don't we go say hey to who's over there see ya we're gonna say hey to salim we're gonna give him a funny intro Oh, I don't know what's happening with him. It's going a bit glitcho. Um, let's get a donation from him. Yes, awesome. Yeah, and he's completed his day of work, so... Cool. I'm going to let him just do what he wants. 
Joe's gonna make a new friend. Tell an unbelievable story. Tell him a crush joke. And we've got another kid over here, so we'll get Kale to introduce himself to him. Who is this? This is... Masato. Cool. And there's food over here. Awesome, because I think Joe is hungry. There we go. Grab a burger. Should you be eating random burgers out of the park? I don't know if that's a good idea. Carly's feeling flirty, but Salim's an adult. So, oh, and he stinks, so we are not going there. Oh, Finn's getting a call now. I'm going to get Carly to go and help herself do some uh, burgers. And Mila, congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to let Finn have a little nap, actually. Let's go home. No kids at the jungle gym. Okay, Cass, you can go and have a nice bath now. You've socialised with the neighbours for a little bit, so that's cool. And she's going to go and have a bit of a sleep as well. It's a bit early, but they're tired, so, you know, why not? And we're just going to pretend Carly's... They've sent Carly down to the park. They're like, can you just go and keep an eye on the boys in the park? You know, I don't know what they're getting up to. Where's Kale? Oh, Carly's got to go work in an hour. Damn. She's going to have to eat quick. Energy's a bit on the low side, but hopefully she'll be okay. Oh, you're going to make a little friend in Masato. He's quite cute. Oh my god, the little kid can promote vegetarianism. That's really, really funny. Let's see what he says. We're getting a lot of calls today. Who's calling Finn now? It better not be... Oh no, it's Tina. Tina Morgan is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. No, and that's not Tina, that picture. My god, Finn is like a, a chick magnet. Like, everybody wants a bit of Finn. <laughs> that sounded... Well, it sounded exactly what I meant it sound like, to be honest. I should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, okay. Cal, why don't you come and have a burger too? It's like, <laughs> Cassie's like, I can't be bothered to cook. You you lot go forage for food. <sighs> oh, oh dear. Who's this? Oh. What's Finn doing? He's just standing there. Go home, Finn. Go home. Go home. He's just like, I'm keeping an eye on the kids. <laughs> Cass is having a well-deserved soak. Bless her. She's like, oh, the kids are out of the house. I can just relax for a little bit. Carly, you should be going to work, I think. Yeah, she's got to go to work. So see you later. Have a good shift. She's off to go babysit some kids. <laughs> Carly is off to work. And the boys are happy because they've got their... Uh... Their burgers for tea, so I'd be quite happy about that. I think I'm going to send them back to the house in a minute, actually. Oh, and she's just left, so that's cool. Um, yeah. I feel like that was a good day's work, actually. Nice, t nice bubble bath. They're like having an early night. <laughs> like, you could spend for yourselves. Okay, what does Joe want to do? Uh, has he done his homework? Yes, he has. Uh, he wants to read with an adult for two hours. That's not going to happen for a while. 
Achieve level five in mental skill, finish homework two times whilst focus, and then achieve level 10 of mental, craft three emotional potions and achieve a grade A at school. Ooh, ambitious. I like it. I'm going to get him to go and do some experimenting. Please don't set the house on fire. And Kale is a little tired, but I'm going to get him to do a little drawing first of all. He wants to make a BFF. Like, I feel like that should be Joe. Like, they are good friends, aren't they? Okay, so... Hmm. Maybe not as much as I thought. Okay, that's fine. They can chat whilst they're out in the garden, I guess. Finn, I need you to come and water these plants. <laughs> he can talk to the plants, bless him. Oh, we've got some mushrooms to harvest too. Yum. But I feel like this has been a very chilled out part, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I really like this LP. It's just really nice to be family focused, I think. Um, we're going to draw a vehicle. He must have quite high creativity then to be able to draw that. Oh, he's like level three. That's cool. We're going to chat to him whilst we're doing this because that might help build up his social. Joke about boogers. Oh, I want these two to be super cute best friends. Give everything a little water for me, love. Thank you. Looks like he can reach all the plants, which is good, because I was a bit worried he wouldn't be able to. Oh, we can evolve our apple tree, too. That's good to know. Anything else can be evolved? Nothing else is shining at me. Low social level six. He is zooming through the social skill. I feel like Cal's doing really, really well. Right, and I think we should just probably get the boys sorted for bed. So Finn's going to do all that and then go to bed. Uh, Joe is... Ah, oh, she's not too bad. I'm going to let him get this skill point. And Kel's not too bad. They're pretty happy, apart from their energy is going down. But that's fine, because it's around about bed... To, well, it's past bedtime. It's quite late, actually. But they're doing well. Ellen, I hear there's a great party down at the nightclub. No, Ellen. Like, are you going through a midlife crisis? Because you keep inviting us to places that are... You know, we're mums now. <laughs> we're middle-aged. Okay, I think I'm going to send them all to bed since they've just got their skills and they are feeling a bit tired. So Joe is definitely going to go to bed. He's tired. And yeah, Kale needs to go to bed too. So I think this is a good enough time to end this part as any. I don't know what time Carly gets home from work. Uh, till 12am. Okay, so she's got another hour to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, then please leave a massive thumbs up. Um, I'm really enjoying this challenge so far, actually. Um, I do think I want to adopt another kid. I think it would be cute. Um, I don't know if we have to go for a toddler, a baby, or have an another baby. Maybe we'll adopt another baby on the phone, but trouble is, where are we going to put them in this house? That's the trouble. We've got not a lot of room, so maybe we need to save up a bit of cash. And I'm thinking we extend the house out a couple of squares this way, maybe, and then we might be able to fit a little tiny nursery somewhere just wait for carly to get home yay and she got promoted to nanny awesome she will now make an additional seven simoleons an hour for a grand total of 40 and she received the following bonus 160 simoleons her next shift is saturday at 6 p.m yay she got a promotion i'm so proud of her um and we are now nearly at seven thousand. so i think off screen i might try and um spend a bit of cash we ha we do have this bit over the top of this living room that we could extend into as well um yeah i might do a little playing around off screen and see what i can do if you enjoyed this part please leave a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you've got any comments or suggestions don't hesitate to drop them down below and i'll see you in the next part bye guys